Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another what's in my travel bag skincare. Yes, I have my own travel bag for skincare. Um, so if you're watching this video and you have not checked out my what's in my travel makeup bag, go check out the previous video because I show you in there what I'm bringing with me on my trip to Mexico for makeup purposes. This is strictly today skincare. Um, so a little disclaimer, and I think I show I told you this in my last video too. When I pack to go away out of the country, I always keep in mind um, trying to be as minimalistic as I possibly can be in my comfort zone if that makes sense. I try not to bring full size products if I don't have to because lugging them back and forth and you know it's going to be in my big suitcase that goes underneath the plane. We just need to make sure that um, you know in case my in case your luggage goes awry knock on wood or you know at least at least they were travel size products and they won't break the bank to replace if they ever get misplaced even if it's in the resort just saying so i'm going to show you today um what i carry with me for skincare so here is my skincare bag i have used this to travel for a few years now um i don't even remember how i got this i think it was from shoppers drug mart and um i've always loved it because it's got that that rubbery that plasticky feeling so it's somewhat of a waterproof bag and that's why I like to use this for my skincare bag because I always place my skincare bag next to the sink when I go away to a resort um, so I'm opening it up in here uh, what do I have to show you first I have a toothbrush which I'm going to take out of this container because there's no point in carrying the, the packaging. So I usually carry a, ma a manual toothbrush with me in a manual container um, only because it's just easier than carrying an electric one. So I have a toothbrush. I have my Listerine mouthwash which I love to take with me on travel. Um, I also have with me my scrubby pad to wash my face. I have um, my, I have the travel size bestie cleanser by Drunk Elephant. So um, I get these little sample sizes like these travel sizes in the, the Sephora Drunk Elephant kits. So I just hold on to them and then when I you know, when I'm traveling, I usually use these. Um, so I'm using the Bestie Cleanser because it's a very gentle cleanser and I don't want anything with any, you know, acids or chemical exfoliants in them because I will be in the sun and it will ruin my skin if I use those. So a simple basic cleanser is what I like to bring with me. This one is the Drunk Elephant one. Um, I'm bringing a Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil to take off and break down the makeup that I can, I'm going to be wearing on the evenings when we go when we go for dinner. So I'm wearing a travel size of this. Um, this is 0 0.8 fluid ounces, so 25 mils. Comes with a pump. Um, so I'm bringing that. Um, I'm bringing the Belief. What is this? lotion tonic bergamot herbal extract toner so i'm bringing belief toner and the belief hungarian water essence so this is kind of what's going to be in replace of my serum because i'm not really bringing a serum i'm just bringing some essences and toners to rebalance my skin um, and then i'm bringing the belief true cream moisturizing balm this is the travel size. I, I'm i kind of not sure if I'm going to bring um, a second jar as a backup, but we'll see. Um, worst case is I could use my Drunk Elephant Protein-E Polypeptide because I have that in my makeup bag. 
Um, but yes, this is the Moisture Balm Cream, which is going to be used at night. And then I have an eye cream, which is the Moisturizing and Firming Eye Cream by Belief. This is a little guy. Let's see what it's... Oh yeah, he's a little tiny guy, which is great. I love this type of travel kit. Um, I'm Oh, here's Toothpaste, Sensodyne Rapid Relief. I always go with toothpaste from Sensodyne. And then I'm bringing with me um, the Dr. Jart Ceramidian Liquid and the Ceramidian Cream. So I'm, I'm bringing both of these. Um, these are the little travel guys, so that's actually perfect for me. Um, I have the Neutrogena wipes. I have some panty liners because a girl is going to be, you know, needs to be prepared at any, any time. Um, and then I have in the little pocket, I have a little pocket here. I have some cotton rounds. I have some floss. I have some hair ties. And then I have some more of the floss picks. And then I have a handful of Q-tips. That is what I'm bringing with me when I travel. Um, usually this is enough. I don't bring any more than this because it's more than enough for me. Um, and most of the time when I do go out of the country, it's only for about seven days. So seven, seven nights, six days, something like that. Um, and, uh, and I like to try to keep it as minim minimalistic as possible just because I'm not going to spend hours doing my, you know, 25 step routine that I would do at home. Not to mention my skin is going to be in the sun a lot of the time. So I'm bringing more hydrating, moisturizing products opposed to, um, you know, acids and, you know, exfoliators, stuff like that, because you don't want to be bringing with you a AHA or BHA acids with you on vacation and, you know, your skin is going to freak out as soon as it hits the sun. Um, I mean, you should be wearing SPF regardless, but even with SPF, sometimes your skin will react if you have used an acid at night when you're on vacation. So I just leave the acids at home uh, folks, when you go on vacation, just bring hydrating and moisturizing products with you. Um, and then once you get home, you can start back up your, your, uh, chemical exfoliating routine. If you do have one personally for me, uh, for me to do it, leave it for a week of chemical exfoliating. It's not a big deal. I like to top up on my hydration anyways. So, you know, that's just, that's just how I am. Um, at nighttime, I like to keep my skincare basic, which is why, I, you know, it's pretty basic in here. Um, because I want to, like, when we get, when we're done at the beach for the day and we come back to the hotel room, we wash up, we relax a little bit before dinner. Usually our dinner is around 7.30, between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. Um, by the time we finish, we go and we watch a show and then you know, we're exhausted because you spent all day in the sun. Um, you know, we drink a little bit, but then we go back to our hotel and just kind of wind down and relax for bed. And, um, by that time, I just want to wipe my face clean of makeup, do a basic skincare routine, which is basically cleanse, hydrate toner, hydrate moisturizer, eye cream, and go to bed. That's all I want to do. Um, I try to keep my skincare routine very up to par, uh, all the way up until before I leave. I also overhydrate as well a couple of days, starting a couple of days before, just so that when I'm on the plane, even though I have a moisturizer on, my skin is not super dehydrated because it does get dry in the plane. Let's be real. Luckily, our plane ride is like three hours and change, so it's not too much time spent on the plane, um, but, you know, if you do have hydrating issues, then you definitely want to put something moisturizing on your face before you take off or while you're in the air. Um, 
let me know down below and I mean I'm gonna do I might do this anyways but do you want to see what's on my carry-on bag let me know down below let me know down below do you want to see what's in my carry-on bag I I think I'm gonna film that one too because I haven't filmed um, what's in my carry-on ever and I feel like some people might take that as a uh, you know for help because I'm when I started traveling myself I didn't know what to take with me on a carry-on I didn't know what the rules and regulations were and depending on each country it's different um, so for me I was kind of figuring it out on my own so let me know let me know comment down below do you want to see a what's in my carry-on I think I may film that but let me know anyways don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not um, I am my New Year's resolution and don't quote me on this but I'm trying is to to post a video once a week on a Friday so um, I'm hoping to keep that schedule consistent throughout the year Fridays are my posting days and um, hopefully I can give you guys one every week so far so good um, so uh, yeah let me know down below do you want to see a travel carry-on what's in my travel carry-on thanks so much for joining you guys i love you guys have a great day Mwah.